we're going to discuss the init action hook, uh, which is extremely, extremely important hook in WordPress. Okay. So if we go to Codex and check the do action init, uh, we see that the init basically fires after the WordPress has finished loading, but before any headers are sent. Um, init hook is actually defined in WP settings.php. So if you go to WP settings.php, you'll see that you know this is a very big file. Uh, you know, all the initialization of WordPress happens, most, in fact, majority of the initialization of the WordPress happens over here, is doing all sort of things like, you know, uh, requiring different files, uh, defining different functions, calling different functions, registering plugins, things like that. You know, there's a, uh, a very nice video that I made on WordPress in install, uh, initialization, which you can check on my channel, uh, which talks about in initialization of WordPress. So, Doing after everything is done, uh, WordPress reaches this point where it says do action in it. Okay, uh, although WordPress is still loading uh, even after this, so for the final hook is WP loaded, but majority of the work is done by uh, at this point uh, when this hook is called uh, do action in it. Okay, so. Most of the WordPress is loaded at this stage and the user is authenticated. Uh, WordPress continues to load on the init hook that follows widgets and many plugins instantiate themselves on it and all sort of reasons. So widgets, plugins, uh, you know, all, all sort of things, uh, you know, instantiate over here uh, at this point. Um, and uh, if you wish to plug in action once WordPress is loaded, use the WP loaded. So if you want to load something after everything is done, then you use this hook. Otherwise, for you know registering widgets and plugins, you can use this hook. Okay, so coming back um, onto our code. Uh, so I'm onto functions.php of my theme, and this is basically the set of code I've written. So I'm going ahead and defining add action, hooking my custom function to the init hook of the WordPress, uh, which is this hook in WP settings on the, in the main directory root directory of our WordPress and uh, I'm checking if this function if my custom function exists does not exist uh, if it doesn't then I'm defining it and I'm using the register nav menu functions to register my menu uh, if you go on to the codex for register nav menus you can check it registers multiple custom navigation menus uh, in the new custom menu editor of WordPress and it allows for the creation of custom menus in dashboard for your uh, using the theme so this is basically this part that we're talking about you know right here so it allows us to you know add uh, more custom menus over here at this point which is in dashboard appearance menus okay <clears throat> so it takes one parameter locations okay and you can pass in location basically an associative array of menu locations slugs keys description according to values so you know you can write Plugin mobile, plugin uh, buddy mobile navigation menu, and you know different sort of uh, pairs of uh, properties and values. And in my case, I have gone ahead and just defined one, which is footer menu. The name is footer menu, and I've given the name of my theme. Uh, in which case, it is Oops. Well, that's the theme name slug basically so if I go over here and check onto my WordPress admin dashboard I'll be able to see that this footer menu has been added over here and that's the name you know, that I've defined over here so if I go ahead and change it to a different one so let's say I want to include these these uh, menus then I can just paste it all right I might have to paste the entire thing All right. So these are the fields that I'm defining. So plugin buddy mobile navigation menu, my custom footer menu. Now let's check it. So as you can see, these are the two additional uh, custom menus that have been defined over here. Okay. So that's the job of this uh, function that we are attaching to the init hook, and it's being executed after the once the WordPress, most of the things in the WordPress are loaded. 
Okay, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask uh, in the comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. And that's, that's about it for this video. We'll catch up in the next one. Thank you.